10 Easy Tricks to Teach Your Doberman Before going into the video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which we have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart, and obedient dog without spending hundreds of dollars. So make sure to check the first link in our description to the free video series guide. Now let's get into today's video. If you're looking for some great fun new ideas on tricks you can easily teach your Doberman Pinscher, then you're in luck. This is my list of some of the most impressive tricks that Dobermans can easily learn. In order to make it on this list, the trick has to be reasonably easy to teach to this breed of dog, and it has to be just a bit more impressive than what your average dog can do. Luckily, Dobermans are incredibly intelligent dogs. In fact, according to WebMD, pets, they're the fifth smartest dog breed in the world. That means they have the ability to learn many of these fancy tricks with ease. Also, they're very driven dogs who are eager to please their masters. So they have the smarts, the drive, and the desire to learn they're an ideal breed for learning some very impressive dog tricks. 1. Shake. Command, shake, paw. Result, on your command, your dog will lift one paw and place it in the palm of your outstretched hand, mimicking a handshake. Shake is a great trick to start with. It's very simple to teach also. Using a treat as motivation, have your dog get into the seated position. Then grab his paw and shake it up and down with your hand while saying shake or whatever command word you've chosen. Then praise your dog and give him a treat. Do this over and over a few times a day and pretty soon, he'll be begging to put his paw in your hand when you say the command. 2. Bark. Command, bark, speak, guard. Result, on your command, your dog will bark either once or repeatedly until you give the release command, depending on how you perform the training. Once your dog learns this trick, he'll be able to bark on command. Teaching this trick can be a little different for each individual dog. If you know something you can do to get your dog to bark on his own, do that while saying the command, and then praise him while providing a treat. It was a little more difficult getting my dog to bark. I had to get him very excited and start barking at him myself. Eventually, after looking at me like I was a nut, he let out one very small and hesitant wolf. I stopped everything and immediately praised him and gave him his treat. After only about three days, he had the command down. I trained my dog to continue barking until I gave him the stop command, but you can choose to stop your dog after just one bark if you'd like. I decided to use the command guard so that my wife could make our dog look somewhat intimidating if she needed to while on a walk at night. If she told her dog guard and he started barking, it's sure to be much more intimidating to a would-be mugger than if she said, speak. 3. Turn around. Command, turn around, turn, spin. Result, on your command, your dog will spin around in a complete 360 degree turn. This is a fun trick that's also very easy for an intelligent dog like a Doberman to learn. Start with a treat in one hand. Give him the command you've chosen, I use turn around, while pointing your finger at him and doing small circles with it as a visual cue. Then put the hand that has the treat inside of it down toward his nose so that he can smell it through your hand. Encourage your dog to go for the treat while leading him in a complete 360 degree spin. Then stop your hand directly in front of you once he's completed the turn, open it up, and give him the treat. After a little practice, slowly start leading him less and less with the hand that has the treat, but continue with the verbal command and the visual cue of pointing to the ground and spinning your finger around. Eventually, he'll be able to do it completely on his own with only the verbal command or the visual cue. 4. Back up. Command, back up, back, space. Result, on your command, your dog will take approximately one step directly backward. This is a very useful command for your dog to know. If he has a tendency of putting his nose right up in your plate as you're eating, you can use this command to get him to back away and give you some space while you're eating. To get your dog to back up on command, start with a treat in your hand as motivation. Now, his natural instinct will be to get as close as possible to the treat and stay there until he gets it. So this part can be a little tricky, pun intended. Show your dog the treat and give him the command along with a visual cue of your choosing. I do a shoe motion with both my hands. Now you need to get him to back up any way you can. Try getting uncomfortably close to your dog and placing your knee on his chest. Gently push against him enough to get him to back up. Then praise him and give him the treat while repeating the command. As you repeat this exercise, you should be able to do it without actually touching your dog at all. However, you may still need to approach him and act like you'll be placing your knee on his chest. Eventually, you'll be able to just give him the verbal command and he'll back up on his own. 5. Jump. Command, jump, 
happy, fly. Result, on your command, your dog will jump straight up in the air and back down. This trick doesn't have a whole lot of usefulness to it, but it can be great for impressing your friends or family when they visit. It can also be great for a laugh when you tell your dog come on boy, fly, and he jumps straight up in the air. The best way I have found to teach this trick is to start with a toy that he or she loves and will naturally jump to get without much hesitation. This is usually a ball or frisbee that he often plays fetch with. Start by holding the toy in one hand outstretched in the air over your dog's head and a treat in the other hand. Give him the command and a visual cue. I like to use a sweeping motion with my arm by my side, ending with my finger pointing up to the sky as the visual cue. If you do this sweep your hand by your side, ending with it pointing up to the ball. Do this while saying your chosen command and encouraging your dog to jump up to get it. When he does, release the ball so he is able to get it as he jumps. Then give him the treat along with lots of praise. Repeat this process until you can start to do it with just your hand above his head without his favorite toy, while still doing the visual cue and the command. The first time he does this without a ball in your hand, quickly give him the treat and then praise him like he just won a gold at the Olympics. Soon, you'll be able to just give him the command and he'll jump. 6. Jump up. Command, jump up, up. Result, on your command, your dog will jump up in a hind-legged standing position and place both paws in your hands. If you love giving your Doberman kisses, this is the trick for you. With this command, you won't have to bend down to your dog and instead he'll jump up to you. In my experience, this is one of the easiest commands for a Doberman to learn. They can almost do it naturally. Usually, the hard part is teaching your dog not to do this to strangers when they come to visit at your house. To train your dog to do this, walk up close to him with a treat nearby for motivation. Give the verbal command and visual cue at the same time. I like to use the motion of tapping my chest with both my hands as the visual cue. Then, reach down and grab his two front paws in both your hands and stand straight up. At this point, your dog should be standing on their two hind legs and their two front paws should be in your hands, one in each hand. Pause for a second, then release their paws, setting them back on the ground. Give lots of praise and a treat. Most Dobermans can pick this trick up in two days, with some of them grasping the concept in as little as one day. Give this a try, you'll be surprised with how quickly these dogs will pick this one up. 7. Balance. Command, balance, stay. Result, on your command, your dog will be able to remain perfectly still, enough to balance an object on his head until you give the release command. This trick is a pretty amusing one that you can get really creative with. You can balance treats, remote controls, a dog leash, even the dog's own bowl on their head with this one. For a visual cue, I prefer to hold my hand up flat like I am giving a stop signal. It's easiest to start training your dog to do this by having them balance a treat on their nose first. For Dobermans, the ideal way to balance an item is by using the area between their eyes and the base of the nose as balance points. Start by making your dog sit and stay. Then hold their nose level while you place a treat on top of it. Pause for a few seconds with your hand on their nose, still holding it level, then give the release command and let them eat their treat. After some practice, you should be able to slowly use less of your hand that's keeping their nose level and eventually all you'll need to do is set the treat on their nose. After accomplishing that, try moving on to other objects, other than treats, and only rewarding him after 10 seconds or so of successful balancing. 8. Hug. Command, hug, love. Result, on your command, and while in a seated position, your dog will put both of their front paws on each of your shoulders and their nose over one shoulder. This is just a really cute trick. People get a laugh out of seeing a big dangerous dog like a Doberman give a hug to their owner. Start with your dog in the seated position, and make sure you have a treat or two nearby. Tell your dog to stay while you kneel down in front of them. Then give the chosen command for this trick and a visual cue. I like to tap my two shoulders with each of my hands. Then, quickly grasp their two front paws and place them on each of your shoulders. Lean in so their nose is over one of your shoulders and pause for a few seconds. Then give the release command, praise, and reward them with a treat. After some practice, you shouldn't have to manually put their paws up on your shoulders anymore, and your dog will do it on his own. 9. Cross paws. Command, sit pretty, formal. Result, on your command, and while laying down, your dog will cross one paw over top of the other. This trick is mainly just for amusement but it can get some good laughs and impress looks from friends and family when they come by. Your dog will need to know a command to lay down first since they need to be already laying down for this trick. Give your dog the command to lie down, if they aren't already. 
Kneel down in front of your dog and show them a treat in your hand. Then give the verbal command, pick up one of their paws slightly off the floor, and lay it over top of the other. Pause for a second and then praise your dog, giving him the treat. Repeat this trick and pretty soon your dog should be able to do it independently with just your verbal command. 10. Pray. Command, pray, say your prayers. Result, on your command, and while laying down, your dog will bury their nose in between their outstretched front legs as if praying. They will stop on your release command. This is a fun and impressive trick to teach your dog. It's a great one to combine with the play dead trick, especially if you use the bang. Command to get your dog to play dead. You can start by telling your dog say your prayers. To get him to pray and then bang. To have him play dead. You wouldn't believe the laughs and all the love your dog will get by doing the two of these together. You can learn how to teach your Doberman to play dead here. Start with your dog laying down in front of you and a treat in your hand. Give the verbal command along with a visual cue. Then guide the nose of your dog, by using the treat in your hand as motivation, between their front legs so that their nose is straight down to the ground between their legs. Pause there for a few seconds, give the release command, then praise and reward. With practice, you should be able to do this without much involvement other than your verbal command and visual cue. And don't forget to check out the free video series that teaches the quick and easy way to an obedient dog, so make sure to get yours by clicking the first link in the description. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching. And please consider subscribing our channel for more about dog training and dog breeds content every day.